everyone, this is Vicki Messy Table Studio. I am just having a play date with my Distress, Distress Oxides. Now these are not stamp pads that I am especially excited about because they get wet, you know, they get messy. And sometimes I do wet media on top of other stuff. But today, what I'm doing is I went looking for something and found a whole bunch of these white strips of paper rubber banded together. So I thought, ah, I know I've seen on Instagram where uh, people from Jelly Arts have been doing inks and that kind of stuff, stamp pads, on top of a jelly plate. So I thought, oh, well, let me do it. Ooh, look, it made a funky, look at that. Oh, can you see it? I look like a greasy spot there. Okay, so um, I decided that I would do some color blocking, is that what they call it? Um, and so I brought out all of my Distress Oxides. Let's see, this is Scattered Straw, Dusty Concord, Festive Berries, Salty Ocean, Twisted Citron, Picked Raspberry, and I have Pumice Stone and Cracked Pistachio over there in the holder. And I also got out my little Memento Teardrops. You see the colors there that way? There's a whole bunch of them. There's like, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 different colors. So at first I started stamping those on the plate here, and you can see where it looks like, wait, maybe you can't see it, um, teardrop sort of things on here, because I just kind of bump, 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 bump on there. So then um, I, I soaked up color on all of these strips. Now these, the ones that have the white insides are the ones that were really tall and they were folded in half and I didn't cut them off. This one's been cut apart. It's the half of something else. So I've been playing with these colors and I thought, oh, I really am enjoying this. I really like this. This one's a little too light for me. You can barely see the color on it. But the others, they have great color, don't they? So I thought I would sit here and do a couple and show you how I've been doing them. It's not anything too complicated. I've just been taking the stamp pad and whacking it on the board and then doing blocks of color. Let's see, let's do citrus. Twisted citron. And yes, I know it means that I get some pink on here, but I really don't care. So I just kind of pat it on there these pads might be going dry. And this is one of those that's a double, that's just one folded in half. And then I will lay them on here like this. And I leave an open space because sometimes you need to blot. I rub them a little bit, peel them up, maybe. <laughs> oh, that one's not too bad, but I would like a little blot of color. So I'll go back there and just add it on so it, it covers up any white spot. I'm sorry, I have the overhead light on and another light. There we go. All right, there's that one. And see, because I didn't do it all the way to the end, I'm going to blot in the spaces that were open. And it'll do different colors. I mean, it'll fill it in so it's not white. This looks white, but it really is pink on there. Let me do some more. Make it darker. Eh, there you go. Here's this one. Let's see, let's do this in the green section. We'll do it on the end in the green. A little more. And then we'll do this one in the pink section. Pink, pink, pink. Bing, bing, bing. This one needs a little bit on the end because it's white. There you go, there's color blocking. All right, let's see what else we got. See, I have all of these and I hate wasting these little white paper things. I just, it, it, I can't stand it. <laughs> Just can't stand it. All right, so let me do... 
<laughs> I swear, I don't talk to him all day. The minute I turn the camera on, somebody's in my face. <laughs> okay. So I take these little guys here. And you can see that it, it makes little flowery things if you go in circles. And I really don't care about that. As a matter of fact, I really don't want the flowers on it, so I'm going to smudge, smudge it around a little bit. Let's see, let's take another blue and kind of smudge around the outsides and kind of in. It's kind of luck. And I think I need a green. Let's put that in there. And over here. All right, so that is... MD. I don't know what color M. Oh, bamboo leaves. Whoa. Bamboo leaves. Danube blue. And Bahama blue. Oh, I like the swirly marks. That looks cool. All right, let me do the other half. And then it's kind of color blocky looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to go through here like that. So I can add deeper tones to it. Ta-da. And then I do mop up. And it pretty much cleans off the plate. You press hard enough, it's mostly clean. And look what it does. It makes beautiful colors. I just love the way this looks. Looks like the ocean. All right, so there's my blues. Let's put those back. Let's try kind of, this one's called New Sprout. All right, and I'm going to put some Twisted Citron on there, which is more opaque. A little down here at the bottom. And then we're going to do, what's this one? Bamboo leaves. The greens. I just thought this would be just a way to kill some time while I was watching TV. You know, just, oh, sorry. You know, just killing time, not doing anything of relevance, just trying to use my supplies. I'm going to, starting the 1st of November, I'm going to do another year of no spend. So today I went to Pop Shelf and I know not everyone has one of those in their area, but they're the cutest little stores. Um, they have a little bit of everything there. They even have like a refrigerator case with food in it. They have bag nuts and hair stuff and craft things and candles and dishes and pillows and throws. It's like a cross between Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning. How's that? Their prices are very reasonable, it's very clean, and I did not know this, but it is self-checkout. Although there are people there to help you at the counter if you need help, but basically it's self-checkout, which I did not know. All right, so there's a very light version of something. This is the darker end, which still makes me very happy. Let's do Salty Ocean. And then we can do some uh, scattered straw, which is a yellow. And don't I have there picked raspberry? I have a picked raspberry. I might do that after this one. So I just put any old color on there, and then I just kind of start fooling around with it. I am going to cut this in half because it's hard to wrangle it when it's a whole piece. So. If I want it to be dual, I just put it down the where the line is, and then I pick up any open spaces 
after that because I really I'm not looking for anything specific I just want lots of cool looking color because I'm going to doodle on these these will be used as um, tags they will go over the edge of pages there'll be pockets little books with paper inside them you know it just it makes no difference to me I just don't want to waste this lovely cardstock by not using it um, I, I want to use it up I could lay something down on here like some kind of a, a pattern on here and then pick it up but I, I'm really just playing around with the color blocking stuff because frankly that's the easiest thing I can do to change these from white to something more interesting All right, need a little color right here on the corner maybe on these corners there'll be some paint yep there we go so it's just all I'm doing is just this I'm prepping that's what it is I'm prepping I do like this color here I think this is the scattered straw with twisted citron let's see how this works is this one cut in half yep, some of these are already cut in half or some of them weren't that tall to begin with and then the other ones that were tall and folded uh, not as dark as I like so I just keep mashing it down until I get a dark tone that I like. Just layer upon layer. It's kind of a pale green. This is not, see this is kind of an orangey yellow and this is the pale green. So what did I use to make it that color? I know I didn't use this. I must have used one of the other ones, the Memento ones. This is Dusty Concord. And let's try some Festiveries, which is a pinkish. Actually, it's way pinkish. <laughs> Very pinkish. All right, so let's try that. All right, so I happen to have a little bowl of leaves. It's been sitting on my desk forever. I'll press that in there. I don't know if that worked or not. Let's put it this way. And let's try... This might be more suitable for paper that is like, you know, um, computer paper. No, look at that. Look at those lovely leaf shapes. Oh, very cool. Let me pull that off of there. Well, it gave it a little more purple in it. It only gets pink, so let me put more Dusty Concord on here. Anyway, I'm just trying silly things. Ooh, that's very dark. I can see roses doodled on that one. It's very pink. Anywho. So that's what I've been doing while I was watching TV. Just nothing, you know, nothing special. It's just a way for me to kill time. I know other people do the same thing, don't you? You just do something silly and you, you're just killing time. All right. Well, I think eventually I'm gonna have to stop and go feed my husband. Darn it.
<laughs> Dang it. I'm on a roll. See, it, it's yellow, but it messes up the pad when you use another color on it, and I really don't care. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way so I can get a little bit of color blocking on it. There you go. And then I'm going to tap this here because it's white spot. A little more color there. And there we go. So you end up with all kinds of cool different shapes with your color blocking. A little bit of pink on that. Get kind of a pinky green color. I love doing this. This is so much fun. Okay, I wasn't doing anything special. <laughs> I just thought I'd come on and show you guys what I've been doing while I've been watching TV. Yeah, I have a um, quite the stack. <laughs> I only have this much left to do and half a TV show. I think I might be able to finish all of it. All right, guys, that's it for a quickie. I will talk to you later. Bye.